Hello, okay, next tutorial. Right, hopefully you can tell this look is magenta. So this is my third part of my Rocky Horror tutorial series. This look was actually requested so many times, way more times than I can count. I have all of the looks I get, aside from Riff Raff, because a lot of people want to see Riff Raff, apparently, um, <laughs> is this this look, magenta. I mean, every, every, all of you guys seem to want to see it. I mean, so the first person that actually requested this was uh, Zidmon54. I think that's right. I'll put your name there. Thank you so, so much for requesting it. I mean, there were loads of you guys that requested this look. I'm so sorry I can't name you all because it just it'll go on and on and on. Um, but thank you so much. I'm sorry it took so long to do it. Um, I hope I did it justice. Um, unfortunately, there's no getting around the fact that I'm a guy in this makeup because, I mean, there's no contouring with this magenta look. So um, there's no getting around my male bone structure. <laughs> so um, hopefully it'll look better on maybe you guys out there. Um, as you can probably tell, I've got a new backdrop. Um, <laughs> I just thought it would be a nice little change, really, to be honest, um, than seeing my living room. The only downside is you won't see my kitties from now on. I mean, if they walk past, I'll happily pick them up so they can say hello or go meow. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's really up to you guys. I mean, what do you think? Do you enjoy the backdrop, or would you prefer seeing, like, the living room and the kitties? I don't know. You guys give me feedback so now. I mean, I can change the backdrop styles. So that's not a problem. Um, but, but depending on the tutorial, so I just think it's something cool. I mean, I've also got like a whole new setup, like a whole new desk and computer, and I've got a three point light system and whole new mirrors and stuff. So it's all cool. Um, it's all good. It's just got professional. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you like it, make sure to thumbs up, rate, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And yeah, so stay tuned. I'll see to air. Uh, stay tuned to see how to do this look. Okie dokie, so to start off with, um, I'm going to be covering my stubble. Now, obviously, you only have to do this if you're a guy or if you're a very unfortunate woman. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I need to do it because, obviously, I can't have any stubble showing because, obviously, that would give away the illusion. Uh, other than my beard, which I'm going to try my best to cover. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to be using a, t a Crayolan TV pan stick in 3W. It's like a really, really thick pancake-like concealer. Um, but because it's the colour that I'm using is quite pale because that's the colour I'm going to be going for with the foundation. I'm just going to apply it all over so I don't have any patchiness. Okay, so I'm just going to apply this all over and get right back to you. Okay, and I'm just going to blend that. So yeah, as, as you can see I've, I've done my neck as well because we're not we don't want the mask look, we want it all all covered. Um, so yeah, I was going to use foundation as well but I think this will be enough. We want the pale look and I think that would do it. I think that if you're going to use a TV pan stick, I think this 3W does the job quite well because you don't want it white. But we're not going for that pale. So, <laughs> okay. So when you've blended all that, um, I'm going to set it with some Grimace translucent powder. So I'm going to press that in all over just to set it and get rid of the shine. Okay, and then just brush off all the excess. <laughs> Right, so for the next step, I'm going to start on the eye makeup. Now, um, I'm probably going to be using way more colours than you need to, but I just like to try and get this as close to it as I can. I'm going to be using uh, one shade of purple, a uh, Snazaroo watercolour, um, that's in ooh, electric purple. <laughs> Um, I love Snazaroo, purely for this, because it's going to be the outside colour, and I don't want it to blend, so watercolour, it will just stay there. And then I'm going to be using a light brown cream by Grimace, I'll tell you the name of it in a bit, and then a dark brown on the base, okay? And it's all going to be blended upwards until it stops at the pair of purple. Um, there is method to my madness, hopefully it'll work. We shall see. Okay, so I'm going to take the purple. You don't really see that it's purple until the last scene. There's a really good close-up of her eyes just before they kill um, Columbia. Uh, and if you haven't seen the film, I'm really sorry I just spoiled it for you. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, it is definitely purple in that scene, so I don't know if it's two different makeups, it doesn't from a distance, I don't know, anyway, going off on a tangent. So yeah, I'm going to take this colour and I'm going to cover the entire of my eyelid, okay, I'm just, I'm just going to round it off on top. Okay, so that shape, you can see, <laughs> so not quite touching the eyebrow, there needs to be a little bit of a gap there. Because after that, there's going to be the white. The reason I'm not doing the white first, then the purple, which is because then we can make that line even harsher with the white. So, okay, so we're going to do that shape on both eyes. Okay, okay, so we should start looking like this. Okay, very pantomime. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to take um, a Grimace cream colour. It's like a light brown. 
uh, actually hasn't got a name really annoyingly um, it's just a light brown cream I mean if it's any help the dark brown cream that I'm using is that's that's the contrast so yeah so I'm going to apply that all over just my eyelid not going beyond the hollow of my eye okay okay so just start looking like that actually looks really minging but there you go <laughs> I would never mix purple and brown in, in other situations but hey so now I'm going to take the dark brown cream grimace colour which actually has got a number it is number 20 if that helps anyone out there okay and I'm going to apply that just underneath just along the, my lash line but quite thick you'll see, well, you'll see what I mean <laughs> Okay, so about that thick. It really doesn't need to be neat because I'm going to be blending the whole thing upwards, okay? So I'm going to take a dry brush, and that's why I use these two colours as cream so I can blend them. And I'm just literally going to blend the colours together, making sure the top is definitely purple, okay? Okay, so I've just started blending the brown on this side. So I've just took a smaller brush now, and I'm just blending it upwards the brown cream okay so there should be no real definite line other than the initial dark brown really so the colour just taper off into each other okay I'm now going to take a Grimace white cream so any white cream, that Snazaroo Clown white would work just as well because it's the same thing, it's just cream white and or you could just use watercolour, I mean it doesn't have to be blendable just doing this because I like the consistency, I like how thick it goes on Okay, and I'm going to apply this, f starting really thin here, moving all the way, covering under my eyebrows and fading down to there, okay? Okay, so the white starts really thin and tapers off completely. For actually, if you did use this pan stick that I'm using, um, I would, I mean, it's, I just, it's really easy to blend, so you can just taper the edges off by just rubbing it with your fingers, that's just how I did it. Okay, I just realised I didn't give an alternative to the pan stick foundation. Um, I would actually suggest using that, a pan stick, like it's just, oh, just a thick concealer foundation, not just because the stub, I just think overall the theatricalness of the look, I think that's best, really. Okay, for the eyebrows, they're a little bit mental, they're quite thick, so, um, because my eyebrows are quite thin now, I'm going to be using um, an eyeshadow to make them thicker. So I'm going to be using a Mac, a Mac eyeshadow in Bark, which is like a, it's like a purpley brown. It's more brown than purple, but I just want to tie in the purple. So, and I'm going to use a, a angle brush, and not too heavy. Okay, and I'm just going to going to thicken up my eyebrows. I mean, you still need the arch, and it still tapers off, but yeah, not not comically thick. But you'll see what I mean. <laughs> Okay, so quite thick. Okie dokie, so you just start having something that looks like this. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so next step is the famous eyelashes. Now, these are going to be very, very cool. They've got to be really spidery, okay? Proper sparse, spidery lashes, because that's the whole point of this look. Okay, so the lashes I'm using are number 7 MAC, I think number 7. The spidery ones. So they look really, really, really sparse and spidery. Okay, um, I'm going to be applying these on the bottom. Yeah, on the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to start with the top pair because underneath I'm going to do some eyeliner first on the bottom lashes. Um, right, I'm actually going to be using two pairs on top now because it's going to get expensive. <laughs> I'm going to use two pairs of MAC lashes, but I'm also, I've cheated um, and I've taken a regular pair of lashes and just thinned them out. What am I doing? Yeah, if that makes them make them look spidery. So I'm going to use that underneath and then put the my posh lashes on top, <laughs> just to make them look a bit thicker. Okay. Okay. So I've already applied that uh, that one pair first. So I'm applying the my own makeshift lashes first. So I'm just going to finish off with this side. Okay. So when they're dry, I can apply the Mac pair. I'm just going to apply them over the top, and then I'm going to do the other eye. Just press the two wefts together. Okay, so whilst that dries, I'm going to take some uh, MAC Fluid Line in black track, so black, and um, I'm going to apply that to the bottom uh, of my eyelid, just really fine 
line around the outside of my bottom eyelid and I'm also going to go in the fluid line as well just to make it e just extra dark really <laughs> okay so once you've got that done and there's uh, just a nice thick black line underneath um, I'm going to be applying the bottom lashes directly underneath okie dokie so upside down okay and you only need the one pair on the bottom because we're not wanting it to look too drag so <laughs> Yes, yeah, so um, it might find it easier if you lift them up a slightly bit because then it hides the weft so it goes up and down. Okay, but you can go in. I mean, I'm going to go in afterwards and apply some more eyeliner just to hide that weft a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to do the other eye and then do the next step. Okay, and I just went in and made it a bit darker with some more black fluid line just to thin, even out the gap. Okay, just so you can't see the weft as much. Right, okay, so now I'm going to just take some mascara. I'm just using any old mascara. I think this is... I have no idea, actually. It's just unlabeled. <laughs> just a bog standard mascara I use from the theatricals. And I'm just going to tie those lashes in with my own lashes. Really make sure with the mascara to get the ends of the lashes in so it looks extra spidery. I mean, keep saying that, extra spidery, but that's, that's the look. Okay, so next I'm going to do the lips. Now, I, I know I use it every single time, but I'm going to use it again because it's my favourite red ever. Um, I'm going to be using my Venomous Villain Collection um, red from by MAC. It's called Amplified Heartless. I always use this red because it's just so yummy. I love it. Okay. okay. The lip shape is fairly regular. It's quite full, though. So... Okay, so fairly full lips. I mean, you've got to remember these are the lips that you see at the start of the film. These are the famous Rocky Horror lips. I mean, that's Patricia Quinn was the one who provided that. So fairly full looking lips. Okay, so as I always do whenever I use my Amplified Heartless, I'm going to go in with my MAC uh, Wicked Ways Red Lip Glass. It's like just amazing and it just makes it that much deeper and prettier and shinier and I love it. <laughs> Okay, so it makes the lips look yeah, as full as possible. So just try and replicate the, the beginning lips at the start of the film, the Rocky Horror lips, and I think that'll do it. Okay, so we'll just complete the look with the wig. Uh, this wig I got a part at a party shop. It's actually supposed to be the official Rocky Horror wig. It's It was by the guys that make, I don't know, the, they make all the Rocky Horror parties stuff um it's not brilliant to be honest <laughs> it's just loads of matted hair and it's all misshapen and anyway anyway I, I've, I've had a little go at it to try and make it go into shape but this is the best i'm gonna get i think so i've just pinned it up there and just pinned a doily on top and yeah it will do it does the job um i mean if you've got like shoulder length brownish hair then just tongue and back comb it that will do it so I think with these three lights I've got, I think it looks more ginger than this actually is, but... Okay, so I actually haven't got a costume for this look because, um, I mean, as you can imagine, I don't have a French maid's outfit lying around. Yeah, and I would get one for this look, but I really can't see me using it again more than once. Yeah, <laughs> but so I've just put on a black shirt with a really big collar and a, a white shirt with a blue collar and a black shirt and over the top. So I don't know, it will do for now when it's black and white. So <laughs> um, so yeah, that's pretty much my look. So I've actually started doing something on my Facebook fan page. I'll put the link in the description bar below. Uh, basically, what I'm doing it, it well, what I've started doing is um, putting a, a screenshot from my makeup tutorial um, on my page um, under the category like name the character. So the idea is if you can guess what the character is without me telling you what it is, obviously, is I'll give you the first person that guesses. I'll give you a shout out. Uh, in my next video. So last week well, I did the first one which was for the penguin and a second, a second I put it up there everyone guessed it was just like instantly loads and loads and loads of people so like oh my god wow I'm sorry I can't give you all shout outs because I mean that would go on forever and ever and ever as well <laughs> but uh, yeah so uh, the first person that actually got it right was Robbie and um, I won't say your full name just in case you don't want me to but um, get in touch with me if you've got a uh, YouTube name YouTube account let me know and I'll pop it here and so yeah, well done, well done everyone that guessed it right, I mean I was so amazed at how many people got it right um, <laughs> I mean, I would have posted this one by now on there, so hopefully you guys could guess what this is from the screenshot 
Uh, but yeah, so check it out. Uh, I mean, on the pages, I mean, you, if you don't want to ask me questions here or like sending me messages, you can always post on my wall or send me a message on my Facebook if you don't know how to do anything in particular or you want some advice. I mean, I'm, I'm always here to give it. I'll always try my best to respond. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope this helps some of you out there. Um, and thank you guys so, so much for requesting it. Um, make sure to keep leaving your requests in the comment boxes below and all that jazz. I'll try, I'll hopefully, I, mean, I usually see them all. I try to respond to everyone. Um, and I add them to my list that I've got. Annoyingly, it doesn't seem to be on my page anymore. I think they've, because I realised, I think it was too long. So I've just, I've got it on my computer. So I've got a, a list of all the requests. So I keep track of everything. Um, yeah, so keep the requests coming. Um, keep the feedback coming, and um, yeah, <laughs> any any particular look you want to see or anything you want to know how to do, just send me a message, not a problem. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, bye!